Hey guys, Matthew here, and in today's episode, we're going to be having a bit more fun with virtual machines. In today's episode, I thought I'd show you how to make a Mac OS X virtual machine using VMware Workstation Pro or Player. I'm going to be using VMware Workstation for this tutorial. Now, VMware is one of my favorite emulators, um, and soon I will show you a VirtualBox and a Hyper-V. In today's virtual machine tutorial, will be Mac OS X and then later on we might do some Windows and some Linux based stuff um, and pretty much the reason you might want to do this is more the fact you might want to use Mac software you might just want to make it look cool because you've got a Mac so we're gonna need a few things so for this tutorial you're gonna need VMware Workstation Pro Player you can use VirtualBox but I'd recommend you use VMware Player as it is a little easier you're going to need to download Mac OS X the ISO specifically um, the config file and a folder called Mac OS X Unlocker 2.80. I'll put a link in the video description. Now, I've gone ahead and done all of that stuff. So, if you guys need a bit of a hand, I will put a link in the description where it will show you what to do. Um, so, without further ado, let's get to it. So, now I've gone ahead and downloaded VMware Workstation Pro. I have all the files we need. They're stored on my NAS. And then finally... Um, we're ready to create the virtual machine. Now, when you install VMware Workstation, I need to point out, when you install it, make sure you have the keyboard um, advanced driver enabled, because if you don't have that enabled, turns out you could run into a few problems, i.e. Um, VMware Workstation not detecting it as Mac, because without that enabled, it won't let you run it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go File, New Virtual Machine, going to go Custom, we're going to just select this as default, now we're going to use an ISO, I'm just going to go to my NAS and grab that. So we're just going to click browse, find our ISO image. Oh, I typed it in wrong. Alright, there we go. Then after that, we're going to go to my um, folder and we're going to click Mac OS X Sierra. Now, as you can tell, it's not detected, but that's completely fine. We're now going to click Apple Mac OS X and select the latest version. Okay, we're going to click EFI. For, we're just going to leave everything by default, EFI. We're going to give it just put the default processes. Now, I've got a quad-core system because this is an Intel Xeon that's running in my computer. Um, and what you can then do is just, if you feel like you want to adjust more cores, you're most welcome to. Uh, for RAM... Go ahead, and I'm using 2,048 uh, megs of RAM. Um, I'm going to use a NAT just because networking issues with the operating system can have a few problems running as a virtual machine. Uh, we're going to just leave everything by default. And there we have it. Okay, now before we go ahead and we install it, we're going to need to do two things. We're going to need to go into the actual folder itself where the... Um, OS is still so as you guys can see we're going to scroll down this is what we're looking for so as you can see I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to edit with notepad plus plus now you can use just normal notepad if you want ah, I've got two screens so that's why so I'm dragging it across here now as we can see I'm going to put in a new line that is smc dot version equals There you have it. Once that's done, just save, and we're ready to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the virtual machine, and hopefully, fingers crossed, this works. Okay, so my microphone just kicked out, so I don't know if the actual recording just came through, but what's happened is I've told the VM what to do. Um, we've gone ahead and edited the config file, and finally after that, we have loaded it. So. I do apologize if the microphone kicked out there, but as you can see here now, Mac OS is loading. Okay guys, so we're at the stage where we are ready to do the installment. Um, so what's gonna happen now is I'm just gonna let it load. Um, I will mention as well, if it doing it through VMware, it will work. Uh, sound will work and your video driver will as well. And here we go guys, Mac OS X has loaded. Sorry, Mac OS has loaded. So we're just gonna go through the initial process um, and some things we need to quickly do. So first off, 
we need to click English. Well, unless, of course, you guys are Czech Republic or something like that. Click Next. Continue. You can agree to all of that legal stuff. Of course, I've read that. Now, can you see how there's no installation drive? We need to go to Utilities, Disk Utility, and from Disk Utility, we then go... Uh, sorry, we then go to the VMware Virtual Storage. We need to erase, and we're just, I'm going to call this OS. Um, beautiful. And we're going to click Erase, and that will format it. Once done, we have it completely formatted in Mac OS S so we can actually read it. We're going to close out, click our installation, continue, and there you go. So I will be back once the installation is finished. Okay, so we're finally back and it's now time that we install Mac OS. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click Australia. So that's obviously where I live. We're going to click Australian. Just wait for it to load. And we're, Now, if you wanted to make this virtual machine a physical machine or a, um, a, a more of a virtual machine where it boots up automatically and stuff, um, you could do that uh, from a Windows PC, but we're not going to do that. Um, I don't tend to use the location services on Mac. I'm just not going to don't sign in because I don't want to show my Apple ID. So what we'll do is we'll just click uh, I agree to the terms and conditions. Agree. We're going to call this. And we'll just leave it without a password. Okay, you do need a password. Damn it. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, you can also edit the profile picture on the Mac if you wanted to. So let's go to some defaults. Yeah, uh, I like this one. Yeah, I like the yin yang. There we go, and we'll click continue. So now we've got that configured. Now we're just waiting for it to finish doing it. Now, if you didn't know this, but Mac actually runs on a layer of Linux. So if you went into the terminal um, on Linux, it'd be the same for Mac. So this is pretty much me creating a Linux-based operating system. The only difference is Mac and um, Windows are completely coded differently. But most companies out there will code for Mac and Windows. So even if you pick out um, Mac, you can always go ahead and there's a piece of software out there called Wine which will allow you to install Windows applications on a Mac. Now, this thing here, this little spinning uh, wheel, is called the spinning wheel of death, which means it's struggling to load. Okay. Beautiful. Continue. And we're going to just deselect these, because I said back in my previous video that this would use up internet and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, as well as just slowing your PC up as well. Sorry, not PC, your Mac up. So as you can see, we're just setting it up. So we'll just wait for that. Okay, so we're just going to go through the basics of loading it now. It does take a few uh, minutes to load, just because of the first boot. As you can see, Mac OS X has now installed, and it's great. As you can see, there's not too much lag. One more thing we need to do is now go to Mac OS... Sorry, I tell a big fat lie. We need to go up to workstation vm install vmware tools click install should come up come on there we go now we're just going to click install vmware tools as you guys can see as well i've just clicked on uh mac os x mac os sorry i've got to keep getting that wrong um and as you can see my files are all here so we're all good which is fantastic. All right, we'll quickly, yep, we'll just click continue. Uh, install, continue installation. Put your password in. And let it install. This will allow, see how there's this box here? This will allow uh, once VMware Tools is installed, it will allow you to have a full screen and also use a secondary monitor if you have one connected. As you can see, this is also how if you wanted to airplay, you could. Um, so yes, anyway, let's go into system specs about this Mac. 
Now, it won't detect the process or anything. It will just come up as a Mac, 2 gigs of DRAM. So it's, it's very basic. Um, memory, as you can see. So there we go. So it, it see how it's not too laggy, which is what we want. Process is pretty powerful. Now we'll go to the App Store and download the update. It is indeed recommended that you do update. We're just going to click update and let it install. Download and restart. Once the install is finished, um, it will do that. Now it will take some time depending on your internet connection to update. So, oh yeah, here comes the spinning wheel of death. Download and restart. And as you can see, it's doing it. Ah, cancel that one. Okay. At least the time's correct. And now let's click restart. So once restart, we'll notice that the, the screen uh, will be a full screen instead of that little um, square there. And then finally, after that, it, we should be ready. How weird is it that the cursor is just up there? <laughs> That's odd. Right, then to boot up, so VMware. Here we go, the Apple symbol. Now, I'll also mention as well, the sound will not come through when it boots up. But once we're into the actual menu, we will be able to um, log in and have sound. So, it's just for the booting sequence. Okay, so we're finally back on the, uh, just the screen. So, now we're just going to put my password in. And notice how it's completely now full screen and we no longer have our black bars. So that means the video driver was successfully installed and that's what we wanted. And there we have it. We have successfully booted up into Mac OS X. OS, uh, Mac OS, sorry I keep getting that wrong. Well guys, you've now successfully created a Mac OS C Sierra virtual machine. Well done guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate you doing that. Also subscribe if you haven't, that'd really help. Anyway guys, catch you next time. Bye.